<laughs> That's why I was saying as soon as I get to it, I want you guys to teleport to me. But well, I, guess I not. heard you say it, and I opened map, and you were already. <laughs> well, either way, it's not that difficult to get to. It's literally you just take a railroad. Just pretend you're Harriet Tubman. Who's Harry Topman? Uh, <laughs> uh, she was the first to innovate like the craziest top. <laughs> it's uh, Underground Railroad, one of the first like wait wait wait. People. Do, you, do you know what the Underground Railroad is? Yes, it's where they traffic black people back. To <laughs> you know what? You know what? That's that's progress. That's progress. I don't know. If progress is the word I would use, but I'm gonna be honest, guys. The only progress we're gonna be making in this video is toward beating this godforsaken Terraria seed. Over the span of a year, we have fought tooth and nail within our legendary Zenith world. What is supposed to be the true challenge for any Terrarian who dares? I will say, playing through this world has definitely lived up to the expectations. We've had to find some very unique ways of playing. Terraria in order to survive, let alone get to this point. But it isn't over just yet. We still have a monumental obstacle standing between us and what lies beyond. Quickly, we realized the hardest part about taking out the pillars wasn't going to be killing the enemies, but rather the fact that we have to excavate them from underground. Fortunately, we already had a rail system in place. Although minimal, it allowed us to have somewhat of an easier time getting to each pillar. I went directly for the vortex pillar since it was one of the most exposed ones, and we were able to make pretty short work of it. The vortex pillar supplied me with the exact fragments I needed for my endgame weapon, the phantasm. How hard is it to summon fish Dukron? And my his favorite name, right? boss, fish <laughs> no, Dukron. I'm talking about like another boss, not Dukron fish, but fish Dukron. The secret, the secret Zenith seed boss. You have to mod him in the game now, buddy. Like, <laughs> that's your obligation. He's gonna look like Doodle Bob. Doodle Bob. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's, oh, 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 oh. he's probably just a PNG. He doesn't have any animations. <laughs> <laughs> just a static image flying around. Like I said, the vortex pillar was fairly easy to reach, but that definitely didn't carry on to be the same case for any of the other pillars. Yeah, we don't have like very streamlined ways to get to these places. Um, this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Um, I have the hell of a dynamite. I have a lot of dynamite too. You wanna do some terrorism, Austin? All right, let's do it. That's a pretty crazy sound. All right, look out, woo! Oh shit, I shouldn't have done this. Did you do that? I don't know! <laughs> Why did you do that? <laughs> oh, wait. Look out. Oh my I'm god! There is wait. friendly fire with dynamite, thank you. <laughs> Right here, I'm gonna start going this way. Yeah, I wonder why. I'm oh wait, lava is a thing. Everyone keeps fucking throwing dynamite <laughs> lava, lava. Their face. After the neurons in my brain started firing again, we made a path to the nebula pillar. It was a little bit of a tight squeeze, but that ended up playing to our favor since mobs weren't really able to swarm us as much. There we go. Laser it! Oh my god. Cool. We wasted no time in making our way to the pillars, which means up next we have a special guest, a fan favorite that always gets the crowd fired up. Well, what would happen? Life would be a dream. Life would Life be a dream. Life would be a dream. Boom, ba dee, da boom, 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 you. Oh. Kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, we could kill it. Oh, wait, why does that do so much damage? Austin wait. just left the game. Why? Kill it! <laughs> wait, why does that do so much damage? You fucking bitch! I killed him, I killed him. I tp just in time because Aaron fucking died immediately. Dude, holy shit! I don't know if I just died or not. It's like the friendship between Hitler and Stalin. Huh? Huh? What? Okay. They call me and Bobby's reaction were sick. Okay. Asshole. No! Why? Why? It's there four worms coming after me, bro. They're what after you? Coming? He was my <laughs> asshole. Apparently, my entire toe was on bleeding, and I didn't even realize that. Hmm, okay. Hey, thanks, eh? buddy. I'll send a photo. No! Ah, you're good, man. You're all oh. good. Okay, it goes in Aaron's corner. Well, good thing I have that bitch muted. Oh, I'm really sad now. <laughs> Aaron, that's why it's your corner. It's literally uh, for you when you alone. Ow. We check it sometimes. Yay. Wait, we're not gonna check it for at least a month now because of this fucking photo you're okay, posting. Okay, okay, well, yeah, I'm not gonna. Okay, 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 okay. I won't upload it. 
At least tell me you watched the dancing Spider-Man Fortnite balls video. At least part of it. <laughs> I can't say I have, but <laughs> Alright, watch it for five seconds. No, you're just trying to trick me into seeing your toe. No. <laughs> I, I'm, I swear. When I your swear. bros try to trick you into seeing his toe, <laughs> what the fuck? It's the oldest trick in the book, Aaron. I know what your game is. I, I, I literally <laughs> promise on. Hashtag relatable. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was dead while the guys beat the solar pillar, so you get to look at this death screen with me. Wanna break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar? <laughs> the last pillar was a little closer to the surface, so we set up a temporary shack to spawn at. I was dead. That was a meme. No, it's only for the bees. Oh. What did I get? What this the time? hell did we just? Oh fuck off! Aaron's the kind of man who would do it for the beams. Beamish <laughs> weenus. Huh? That didn't rhyme. I thought it would. It did, but yeah, it, it literally did. Rhyme. It literally did rhyme. You just, you know. That oh, wasn't the no, issue yeah. with it. Oh, <laughs> just because something rhymes doesn't mean it sounds good. Imagine a word like I don't know. I got my finger on the trigger. Yeah. Now be careful about what you rhyme with that one. Yeah. Just be careful. Be careful about what you rhyme with. I got my finger on the trigger, but you got a nice figure. Be careful. You gotta be careful what you rhyme with. It's all fun in games until you're blamed for a little hate crime. My favorite candy bar is the Snickers. Gotta be careful what you <laughs> rhyme with. Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, did you guys we beat it? Last yeah. yeah Oh no! Oh god. Oh, I've, I'm already getting sucked. I'm coming. Are we going for know. the hands or the eye first? We're dying first! Yes, 1.2 million health. I mean, we already done one fourth of his health. Wait, yeah. mm -hmm. you did one fourth of his health? Yeah. Really? Did you really get him yeah. down that low? I guess I wasn't paying attention. I wasn't paying attention yeah. at all. He actually yeah. did. Holy fuck. I'm actually not bad this time with math. <laughs> <laughs> Preparation wasn't really a thing that we did before that fight, so now I was stockpiling potions, which was going fine until... Really now? Sorry, I need Now, money. why did that happen? Oh, uh, I need money. Bro, spawn them somewhere else! All right, I spawned them right here. Okay, that's still pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, like, the For the arena to fight the Moon Lord in, we decided to install a highway in space. The idea was that we could, uh, run. <laughs> Alright, get ready. Alright. What the f What just the happened? hell? Man. Not John the dog! He just hit a nuke! I, I, I just spawned in the wall of flesh and everybody died. Every time I get up from my keyboard, there manages to be some kind of problem that arises. I accidentally he spawned the queen queen slime. slime. Although at this point in our run, Queen Slime really wasn't going to be a big problem. And besides, we needed to fight Queen Slime anyways because she has a mount that we actually needed for the next boss. I am almost dead. I am dead. Oh god. Yeah, that's right. Oh that's no! I can't fucking see anything! It's so dark! How much time you got, Bubba? 30, 30 seconds. Oh no! Oh my god! What did the fuck did I? It was a falling star. It was a That's falling star. So, it was a falling so fucking star, That's dude. So Austin finally rejoined us as our tank, and that tipped the odds in our favor. 14,000, come on. I don't know where he is, but. He's on you, Iron. No, he killed me! Yes. Oh nice. Let's go! Let's go. My god, dude. The fight was pretty useless for most of us, but I still feel accomplished that I could say we beat Fork Dushron in the Zenith Sea. We ended up going back to the jungle temple so we could bully the golem a little bit more, but more importantly so that I could get the golem eye in order to craft the destroyer emblem. It was going to be pretty helpful for my particular build since I am a ranged character. And because we didn't beat the Moon Lord, we get to do it all over again. Apparently we didn't learn from our last attempt that locking ourselves in a dome with a roided out shirtless god that launches bouncy boulders was probably not the best idea. Hey Freak Joe, you're going nowhere. I got you for three minutes. Three minutes of play time. What did I get killed by? Whoa! The boulders, man, the boulders! Ah! 
Fighting the Moon Lord in a normal world is already a hefty task. Adding the legendary Zen Seed into the mix and we're dealing with a whole new beast. We were going to run into some problems if we didn't find a new way to fight the Moon Lord. Not only does the Moon Lord have an insane amount of health, but also a new mechanic has been introduced with the addition of the Moon Boulders that erupt from its eye. This was going to be the real issue we had to contest with when coming up with a strategy to fight the boss. Watching some other YouTubers, I found a strat that I felt would aid us in our path. A combination of watching Habu and a YouTuber named Meibu sent us off in a pretty good direction. It was going to take us quite a bit of experimentation to pull this strategy off, using Meibu's build and utilizing what I learned from Habu in the context of a squad, but we already got this far. The first and honestly the most crucial part of fighting the Moon Lord was the construction of our nurse base. The nurse base layout is actually extremely important to the effectiveness of this strat. So we end up making a ton of changes to it throughout our attempts. So we don't want platforms up here then? Because the boulders will come through. The only way to get in is down here then. Well, there's also going to be a bed, right? Because that's how it gets back and forth. Yeah. If the nurse decides to walk into the other room, if she steps on the pressure plate, will she teleport away? Oh, how does he avoid that? Oh, he made sliding doors. There we go. See? Dude, this actually looks so fucking cool. Also, he was using a magic mirror instead of... How the fuck are you outside, bitch? We probably can't let us have platforms because then the nurse can decide to just walk around like she's free or some shit like that. Like oh, she's free. What an insane sin. Listen, she's no Harriet Topman, so. <laughs> Our first generation of the nurse base was a fairly simple design, a teleporter on each end, a room for the nurse to live in that also contained all of our buff equipment, and we actuated walls that open and close when we pass through so the nurse doesn't accidentally get teleported. The idea was that we would be able to teleport back to the base when the moon lord does his boulder attack so that we could avoid them and heal. Once the moon lord teleports upon us, we bounce the fuck out using either of the teleporters to return back to our bridge. On paper, the plan was foolproof, but it doesn't really matter what you put on paper if you and your friends don't know how to read. To the left! Wow, that this is already going really badly. Guys, you're fucking with it. What the? God damn this game. Things at this point weren't really going great by any means, but everything was about to get way worse. TV! <gasps> What the fuck? What? What? Something We're happened at the house. We're in hell. Oh, somebody left the fucking thing open, huh? F2. Uh, oh, shit. He's still fucking here. Yeah, I got 15 seconds. Bed. Doesn't matter. Never mind. A problem arose with the design of our nurse base, which caused our house to be invalidated, causing us to spawn in hell instead of in the nurse base. If the actuated wall is somehow left open for too long, it resets our spawn. So we attempted to make some questionable renovations. When we spawn here, we're gonna run into a wall. Yeah, this is really bad. This is a really bad setup. We're gonna get stuck in here, like so much. The bed was separated from the main room, so now we shouldn't have an issue of spawning in the wrong place, but now we were struggling with getting the nurse to stay put. This bitch is on the other wrong side. Get here. Come on, you dumb. Okay, okay, okay. I'm here now. I'm sorry. Talking to the nurse. Go to the nurse. Guys. I'm talking to this fucking. I said I'm talking to the nurse. I'm not calling you. A... Anyway, get the fuck over there, you. Move. Yo, where? Not you. Who has the side? I'm trying to get the nurse to get back into the fucking main room. She's on the fucking teleporter. Go, bitch. Go. We need to put her in a box. <laughs> okay, what if we all leave and then watch her on the map? Oh, I know how we can get her to move. Let's open up the wall so that way a monster will come in and smack her. And you just teleported her away. Oh, yeah. my. Here, nope, I know what I'm doing. Stop. Everybody get the fuck out of here. What in the fuck am I looking at? Okay, now she can't ever fucking escape that. And now bed will go down here. Now, she is just an equipment like these other things. It's right above our heads. We could right, run right under it, and she can only be in those spaces. That counts as a room. Yep, it does. <laughs> we got this shit this time! Right here. Take me, please! Left! Okay. Oh. Hold up, I need, a, I need a TP real quick. I'm gonna come back to you guys. Later. TP! Oh my fucking god. Damn, I died! Now that we had pretty much all of the other problems solved, we still had to deal with the Chris Kyle boulders that were sniping us halfway across the arena. We decided to create a box around our nurse base for when we teleport in order to hopefully contain the Moon Lord in the box when he shoots the boulders out. This is another one of those strategies that I took from Habu that I kind of modified because a lot of the strategies Habu was using in his single player's NSC run were a little hard to pull off with the squad, especially this squad. <laughs> that should be big enough. That should be good. Holy! 
Left side. Left side. Uh, 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, I need a... Oh, I got hit by a boulder. Fuck. Oh. Little bro's on me. Holy fuck. This shit is chaos. Laser. Two o'clock. Oh, my God. Oh, damn it. Laser. It's gone! Uh, it's hard to expose. Come on, we're doing well. This is it, fellas! I died! No! Do it, fellas! Do it, all my fellas! Come on, come on, come on! Please! Come on, you bitch! Come on! Yes! Holy shit! Let's go! Eat shit and die! Eat shit and die! Let's go! We beat Tennessee! Oh my god. Oh, it only took us a whole a fucking year. year. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Look, at, look at, look at, look at, look above, above! There's, There's something lava. there! It's just yeah. lava. It's just lava? Game? What the fuck is this? Drain it. Uh, you're gonna drain the entire. You're telling me you don't see a slight issue with it? Nope. We have nowhere to escape! Lock it up! Go around, you deserve fight. this, Bobby. Holy shit, that's a lot of drama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch this whole thing just not work. What the fuck? <laughs>smoke of that Bunsen burner pack. There's so many golf balls everywhere. I can't even tell which one's mine anymore. Yours is the white one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm keeping mine over here. Has an air on top of it. Is that really... We gotta go right now. I loaded up all the villagers. I loaded up all the villagers in the spaceship and set course for a new world. We gotta go. We get right now. Can we finish our game first? I'm like about to get my 32... No, 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 no. You know what happens when they put a stray cat inside? They create a cat cult in your basement. They start an illegal gambling ring and charge a fee in your own home. They call it the fee line and you can't cross it. Do you want to have the cat mafia in your basement and the only way to get rid of them is by beating them at their own game? Bro thinks he's Dracula flow. Wanna see me crack, J-Pup? Do you? How about you, Austin? Hmm? I ain't got nothing else better to do. I'd be down to explore space. <laughs> I'm ready to kill some bugs. When did we get a spaceship? I'm driving! Woo! <laughs> On to the next world, the next adventure. Let's fucking go!